The Great Pumpkin Flyby, Part 2. Earth will be having another spooky encounter with a death comet that first swung by our planet three Halloweens ago. Asteroid 2015 TB145 is a skull-like space rock that came within 310,000 miles of Earth on October 31st, 2015. Dubbed the Great Pumpkin by NASA, the asteroid is set to once again pass by our planet on November 11th, but at a much farther distance of 24 million miles. Observations during the first flyby indicate that the asteroid most likely completes a rotation in 2.94 hours and reflects only 5 to 6 percent of sunlight, making it just slightly more reflective than charcoal. Astronomers think the asteroid may be an extinct comet that lost its water and other volatile compounds after numerous orbits around the Sun. Though the second approach may not be as favorable as the first in terms of distance, scientists say they will still be able to observe and obtain new data on the spooky space rock. Speaking of spooky... Haunted doll attacks couple, gets sold on eBay and strikes again. Do you believe in curses and ghosts? How about demonic spirits taking over human hosts? If you do happen to take reported incidents of paranormal activity to heart, you might want to grab your Ghostbuster Proton Packs, because the series of eerie events that have been following a seemingly harmless looking China doll in the UK are freaking people out left and right. Debbie Merrick purchased the doll back in late June from a second-hand store for five quid, but she apparently had no idea what she bargained for. She and her husband Cameron claimed the doll attacked him in his sleep by leaving mysterious scratch marks on the back of his leg. Mm. Debbie claims she's found the doll in different spots, and not only does she think it can move, she's convinced it took its own necklace off in the box. Having had enough, Debbie stuffed the doll in a box, taped it shut, and threw it up for auction on eBay, then threw it in the shed until shipping it to the next owner far away from her. Enter Lee Steer, a paranormal investigator who just needed to know what the deal with this creepy doll was. So much so that he snagged the doll with a winning bid of 866 pounds. A mere two days after the doll came into his possession, Lee's father claims he also found scratch marks under his arm that are apparently freakishly similar to the ones on Debbie Merrick's husband's arms. And that's not all. Lee and his parents claim lights in their home have been flickering, strange noises are becoming more frequent, and things in the house have been turning up cracked, broken, or just moving on their own. You know, the usual. In any case, do you believe this doll is possessed by some evil spirit? Or does Debbie Merrick really know how to sell junk on eBay? A profit of 861 pounds ain't bad. Ghost photobombs girl's selfie. A teenage girl from Georgia got a tingle down her spine when she checked her photos from a recent fishing trip. According to a post by her mom on Facebook, 13-year-old Haley Ogletree was taking a selfie last week when she was photobombed by a ghost. That's him right there. Haley and her brother Colton had gone fishing with their grandparents to celebrate the boy's birthday. According to their mom, Colton caught the biggest fish like ever. So maybe the ghost was happy for him. Seems like the photobomb phantom appeared when Colton was packing the fishing tackle box back in the truck. Haley's mom said her son didn't notice anyone standing there and there was no other people around that day. So there couldn't possibly be any other explanation for how the man appeared in the photo. Hmm, huh? good there. The photo has been shared thousands of times online and picked up by media around the world, but it's garnered divided opinions. Looks like many of you out there straight up believe in the existence of ethereal beings, while others take a more cynical view and are sure some post-production jiggery pokery went on with young Haley's photo. So do you believe in ghosts, or do you think the photo is fake? Let us know with an appearance of your own in the comments section below. Her imaginary friend will scare the living daylights out of you. It's normal for kids to have imaginary friends, it's part of our childhoods. But maybe not this kind of imaginary friend. This story was picked up by women's magazine O Comely when they asked kids to illustrate and write about their imaginary friends. A girl named Ruby drew a picture of her imaginary friend Grateful, who has yellow eyelashes so she can see in the dark, and she has two babies in her belly. Huh, okay. Ruby said Grateful only visits her at night, which at first she was quite afraid of. Then, as Ruby got to know her special friend more, she began to enjoy the time they spent together. However, what's terrifying is the fact that Ruby said her imaginary friend is 14 years old, but can never have a birthday. Well, we don't know what that means, but it sounds ominous and curse-related. 
Twitter user Natalie Morales tweeted the picture of the drawing with the caption, Ruby, you have a ghost. This is straight up terrifying. And the Twitterverse agreed as the post instantly went viral and was retweeted more than 26,000 times. So, who wants a visit from Ruby's imaginary friend tonight? Signals intelligence experts believe a so-called ghost radio station operating out of Russia is broadcasting secret messages to spies. The station, nicknamed The Buzzer, has been emitting a short, monotonous buzz tone since the Cold War, with reports saying it started as early as 1973 to as late as 1982. No one has ever admitted to running the station, which has spawned a number of conspiracy theories, including that it's staffed by ghosts. The station broadcasts 24 hours a day on a frequency of 4,625 kilohertz. It emits 25 buzz tones per minute, which is sometimes interrupted by Russian voices that appear to be talking in code. Up till 2010, the station officially identified itself as UVB-76, but then switched to MDZHB, which stands for... Mikhail, Dmitry, Zhenya, Paris. Mikhail, Dmitry, Zhenya, Paris. Like all international radio stations, the buzzer broadcasts shortwave signals that can travel for thousands of miles and be received all over the world. Some have speculated that the station is programmed to retaliate if Russia is ever hit by a nuclear attack. But experts have ruled that theory out for technical reasons. Instead, they say the station is probably a tool to communicate in times of crisis, like say a war, with Russian spies overseas and military personnel stationed in remote areas. So let's just hope the buzzer keeps on buzzing, and the only voices we hear on its continuous low frequency are just testing the signal. A nearby star is emitting weird radio waves. A star close to our solar system was found last week to be playing some pretty weird jams on the radio. Well, not exactly. The Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico discovered peculiar radio signals coming from the star Ross 128 in the Virgo constellation. Scientists say the reason for this could be one of three things. The signals could have originated from a solar flare, from something else passing in front of the telescope's view of Ross 128, or it could simply be a radio burst from a high orbit satellite. Researchers say the recurring hypothesis that aliens are behind the signal is at the bottom of many other explanations. So it's probably not ET or the Death Star, Spock or the Saiyans. The ghost of Ipswich? Nah. A family in the English village of Ipswich lived in constant terror after being tormented by the sounds of ghostly singing. Almost every night for nearly a year, a mom and her two kids were awakened by the disembodied voice of a little girl singing, It's raining, it's pouring. When the singing didn't stop, the woman reached out to the local town council. They found it difficult to believe, but nevertheless asked her to contact them if it happens again. So when the song started up around midnight on September 12th, she called the council, and together they traced the eerie music to an industrial building being played through a loudspeaker. Turns out the creepy nursery rhyme was an alarm meant to stop thieves and trespassers and was only supposed to be heard on the property. It was triggered by an oversensitive motion sensor that was constantly being set off by itsy bitsy spiders crawling across the lens. The site has since apologized for the disturbance and adjusted the volume, which means the poor woman and her kids can finally get a good night's rest. 